NFL Top 10 Power Ranking Week 5. All right, we do these every single week. Last week, behind me, you will see the top 10 from last week. The Chiefs, Lions, Bills, Ravens, Jets, LOL, the Texans, 49ers, Seahawks, Steelers, and Vikings. Last week, I told you, I said, I'm kind of concerned about Seahawks, Steelers, Vikings, because I think all three teams will lose. Uh, two out of three. So two out of three loss. So I was, you know, not perfect, but... We're seeing things clear. So the new top 10, boom, right here. Chiefs remain at number one. Lions, Ravens, Vikings go all the way from 10 to four. 49ers go up. I wanted to originally put the 49ers at four, but I, I we'll talk a little bit more about the Vikings. But Niners at five, Bills drop to six, Texans slide. Uh, Buccaneers come back into the top 10. They are at eight. The Seahawks, even though they lose, not a bad loss. I mean, it took a perfect game from Jared Goff uh, to beat the Seahawks. <clears throat> Seahawks were good against Detroit. And then Washington enters the top 10, which we will talk about as well. So, all right. The Chiefs are one because they're undefeated, back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. They've been my one all season long. But right now, they're not playing that well. And if we were doing a true top 10 of like right now this week without any priors involved the chiefs wouldn't be one it'd probably be three it'd probably be detroit one i mean minnesota would probably be two if you're doing with no priors and then kansas city might be three uh but it is what it is uh I, you know if kansas city and detroit played tomorrow on a neutral field and it was a pick em, i'd probably take detroit we look at the team DVOA. So DVOA is not the end all be all, but we'll just use it to kind of give us some context for this. So the total DVOA, like just full total ranking, Minnesota is one for them. Baltimore's two, New Orleans is three, Seattle's four, Detroit's five, Buffalo six, San Francisco seven, KC's all the way down at nine. Okay, if we do uh, non-adjusted DVOA, New Orleans is number one. How crazy is that? So no adjustments at all. The Saints are considered the best team uh, on DVOA. Let's look at offense. Offensive DVOA, Baltimore is one. Washington is two. So Washington, do I think they're the 10th best team in the NFL? No. Do I think they are a playoff team? I would say no. I, I think Philadelphia is better in the NFC East. Uh, and simply because of Washington's defense. I mean, yeah, right now they have... The second best offense on DVOA, they have they've punted once in three games. They have played a relatively weak defensive schedule so far. Jane Daniels, I think, has like an 86 or 87% completion percentage. He's right now number one in history, uh, overtaking Peyton Manning. Do I think that's going to continue? No, but right now, I have to respect the offense. Now, here's where Washington is concerning. 30th in DVOA defense. The, the Bengals game, I mean, Washington didn't punt, right? And the, and they took Cincinnati, or Cincinnati took them to the brink. To, I mean, so if they keep getting these offensive efforts where Daniels is playing at a 90% completion percentage and they're not punting, yeah, they can win games. But they can't have the 30th defense and be a true top 10 team, a true... Playoff team. I, I don't think so. So, but right now they are in there because a lot of teams. So a lot of teams, when I was going through this, one through eight was pretty easy. And then it got really hard at nine and 10 because the Jets obviously GTFO out of the top 10 after losing to Bo Nix, who threw for 60 yards passing. The Jets are in a horrible spot. They need to fire Robert Salah. He's Garbo. Steelers drop a game, uh, which I saw coming. And now immediately, it's like, ah, eh, Fields or Wilson, Fields or Wilson. Dolphins, get the hell out of here. Without Tua, they are one of the worst teams in the NFL. Uh, Green Bay, like Green Bay, I was ready to put back into the top 10. I expected them to beat Minnesota and to get back into the top 10, but then they lose to Minnesota. So I didn't necessarily drop Green Bay that far, but I, I had no reason to put them in the top 10. Philly, I think Philly's a top 10 team, but they're so hurt. And they just came off of a horrible loss. Like, I'm still waiting on them, too. Them and Green Bay are kind of those teams where I'm waiting. Then you go into teams like Cincinnati. They just can't seem to get it right. They come off of a win against Carolina, but not really convincing. 
The Saints, same thing. Like the Saints, if they beat Atlanta, they would have been in the top 10, but they come off of a really hard luck loss. So there are good teams down here, but I'm just waiting on them to either get healthy or get the results to get put back into the top 10. So the bottom part's kind of interesting. Uh, as far as, let's look at some other teams. So Detroit playing really good. I think Detroit is a team that hasn't really hit their peak. I mean, right now they have the eighth offense and the 13th defense, right? No, 14th defense. And they're fifth on DVOA, total DVOA. And I would argue that Detroit hasn't even hit their like peak. I would say Detroit's kind of kind of ramping up. Like we haven't really seen Laporta take off. Golf is kind of heating up. Like the game uh, this week really was his. Like okay, here we go, moment for the season. <clears throat> but Detroit hasn't really shown me. I don't think their A game, which is pretty dangerous because if their B game, their B minus game is the fifth team in DVOA, eight offense and fourteen defense. That's pretty gnarly. And remember, we've talked about it before. They only play, I think, three games not in a dome. Uh, if they have home field advantage to the playoffs, the Super Bowl is in a dome. So they could theoretically play, you know, like 17 games in a dome and three games outside of a dome, which is crazy. So Detroit, I, you know, I, I have a ticket on Detroit to win, to win the Super Bowl. I love their chances this year. I love what they're doing. I love their team. Uh, ben Johnson's the man. Detroit's nasty. Baltimore? Uh, right, we, we saw a stat earlier this week where Baltimore and the Saints right now are the two highest power rated two and two teams in NFL are their second and fourth. So they are the second highest power rated team, that's Baltimore, and then the fourth highest power rated two and two team in NFL history. All right, we, we showed that stat on a video uh, yesterday. So Baltimore is playing really well. Which is, it's just so, I mean, it just shows you the NFL. Like, you, you can be two and two, you can lose at home, blow a 10 point lead at home to the Raiders, and still be one of the best teams in the NFL. If you look at Baltimore, uh, number two in total DVOA, they are one in offensive DVOA, and they are uh, ninth in defensive DVOA. So, really good. Uh, their running game is just insane right now. You know, Derrick Henry is absolutely turning back the clock. Lamar Jackson's as dangerous as ever. Same old issues with Baltimore. Same old issues. Right now, their big issues are pass protection. And they're having a really hard time uh, protecting Lamar Jackson when they have to drop back and pass. And like third and down, th or third and eight, third and nine, third and ten situations. Good thing about Baltimore is that they don't get in those situations often. If Baltimore gets a lead on you, you're in trouble. If Baltimore is staying ahead of the... Uh, you know, the, the first down marker, and they're not getting into those obvious passing downs, hard to beat, really hard to beat. Um, you know, wide receivers, a lot to be, lot to be left desired there. Tight ends, Andrews and has been absolutely non-existent, but well-coached team, right now a good offense. It seems like this is the kind of year where Baltimore can be better than usual because the NFL is so much of this. It's, it's moving more towards that, like, power running, can you run the football kind of a team. That's exactly what Baltimore wants to do. So, yeah, Baltimore Baltimore's fantastic. I mean, the best two and two team we've seen in the last twenty five years. Minnesota, there's nothing else I can do. All right, do I believe Sam Darnold is going to continue this? No. Do I think he's getting relatively lucky with a lot of throws? I think yes. Okay, for sure. Now, with that being said, this is not the old Sam Darnold. Like, it's not like okay, he's going to turn back into a pumpkin. This is. Right now, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. He's probably closer to the 10 as far as like his luck factor on throws and all that and what he's actually doing EPA-wise. Minnesota, number one right now on DVOA. Offense, uh, Minnesota is 13th. Defense, Minnesota is number one. Minnesota's generating far and away the most pressures. Uh, Brian Flores has something figured out. Defensively, they are insane. Uh, and right now, you've got a situation where Arguably the best defense in the NFL, arguably the best quarterback in the NFL playing wise, and then weapons all over the shop with a really, really good head coach. So, I mean, I think KOC might have locked up coach of the year already. So Minnesota right now, yeah, they're four. And I don't think they're going to go undefeated, no doubt about it. I have to figure out when they do lose, you know, what, what do we, because right now it's, it's very difficult with Minnesota because of priors. You have to have your priors 
And by priors, I mean where they were ranked before the season. Where they were ranked before the season was probably close to 20. Yeah. So they have jumped up a tremendous amount in my power rankings. And it's crazy to think, like, it's not a situation like Houston last year. Houston last year had all these unknowns. Sam Darnold, pretty close to a non-unknown. Like, we all thought we knew what we had with Sam Darnold. I saw a crazy stat. Do you know Sam Darnold is younger than Joe Burrow? Isn't that crazy? But uh, as of right now, I can't ignore it. I think they're the fourth best team in the NFL. San Francisco, they're getting healthy. They are getting healthy. And I think we all see what's happening. They are seven total DVOA. They are seven uh, offense, and they are fourth defense. Really, I mean, what are you going to do? Here's the question, though. Christian McCaffrey's probably not going to play this season. That's just my thought. I mean, he's got double Achilles tendonitis. Legs are absolutely in shambles. Brock Purdy, on the other hand, is playing about as good. Right now, Brock Purdy is playing as good as he's ever played in his career. He's legit. Uh, and, and we know how well coached they are. Defense is coming around. They get healthy, which they are. They're a nasty team. Uh, last week was probably the first complete game from San Francisco. And really good stuff. So, yeah, they're a power player for sure. The Bills, it's just one of those things where the Bills are the most like easy team to figure out. Did Josh Allen have an insane game? Yes. Okay, the Bills are probably pretty good. Did Josh Allen have a really bad game? Yes. Okay, the Bills are absolutely terrible. They can't win without him. They cannot win if Josh Allen does not drag this team. If he does not carry this team, they can't win. Is that, does that put pin them for long-term success? Probably not. Does it mean that they can beat anybody at any given day? Sure. But they are a one-trick pony, and that, and that one trick is, is Josh Allen. Houston? Houston's everybody's darling. I'll tell you this right now. Houston's not playing very well right now. They're the 11th team in DVOA. Offensively, they are 14th. Defensively, they are 6th. So everyone had them pinned as like a top four team, as a conference championship kind of kind of team. Right now, doesn't look like it. Right now, I would say uh, they're like a divisional round kind of team. They're a playoff team. CJ Stroud's awesome, sure. But they have not taken that step that I think everyone thought they were going to take. They're good, but they haven't taken that huge leap, I don't think, yet. Uh, so they got they got things to figure out. Uh, even some of their wins were unimpressive, like the Chicago game, uh, you know, giving Caleb Williams a chance at the end of the game to win the game. Crazy. But Houston, for now, seven. Tampa, what are you going to do? Tampa, uh, interesting team. You know, they lose to the Broncos, look terrible, beat the Lions in a fake win. We went over that box score. And then they destroy a week in Philadelphia. So are they the team that dog walked Philly? Probably not because Philly was so injured. Are they the team that beat Detroit? Probably not because we looked at that box score. Detroit dominated the box score. Should have never lost the game. Are they the team that lost to Denver? Probably not. So where are they? Right? We have all these data points for Tampa Bay, but none of them really are true. Uh, but Baker Mayfield seems to have taken a step. We'll take a look at them real quick. Tampa is 14th on DVOA. They are, uh, offensively, they are 19th. Not good. Uh, defensively, they are 13th. So 19 offense, 13 defense, 14th overall. That sounds about right, given the landscape. I think eventually, like I said, I think eventually New Orleans, Philadelphia, Green Bay, possibly since he will slide into the top 10. Tampa Bay is one of those teams that will fall out of the top 10, along with, I think, Washington. Seattle, I think Seattle's really good. I think Seattle is really good. I think they're slept on. Uh, fourth in total DVOA. Offensively, they are fifth. Defensively, they are eighth. They're a really good team. I mean, I thought the loss against Detroit showed how good they are. They're legit. If you're a Seahawks fan, I'd, I'd feel really good about what you have going on right now. Geno Smith is playing fantastic. I'll tell you this. Any defense that runs that, like, cover one, cover two kind of set, Geno's going to eat up. Geno's going to absolutely destroy. Any any defense that runs that, this like, cover, like, the, the too high shell or anything like that, like, if, G, if they played Jacksonville, oh, my God. If they played Indianapolis, they would roast those teams. Uh, so, Seattle's been good. And we talked about Washington. Uh, Washington's at 10. So, here you go. New top 10. 
again, I think it, eventually you'll see Saints, Eagles, Packers, possibly Bengals sliding in the top 10. I, I think Tampa, Washington are probably your two obvious. They'll fall out at some point. Maybe Houston. I don't know. Maybe maybe Buffalo. Maybe Buffalo. Jets, really disappointing. Again, I think Robert Salah has got to go. Okay. Get on down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the new top 10. I will see you in the next video.